purple is mine. I like purple. Hey guys, there's one more left over there. So it comes down to these three. And since we can't decide who's gonna get what, I propose we make them our collective legions. So we can all take turns. I. Right. Okay. Yo, Slotty. Where's the last one at? Since nobody wants that one, I already threw it outside. Oh my. Are you lost, little one? Would you like to come home with me, perhaps? <laughs> so you are alone, too. Come then, little one. I have so much to show you. Just ignore it. Maybe it will go away. Eventually. Yo, Nago! Where you at, bro? We're starting the great game! Be there in the jiffy. Gotta bring dinner for my love. Aw, look at these two lovebirds! Come on now! <laughs> Honey, I brought you soup! Are you hungry, my love? Hope I can keep you waiting. Did you enjoy the last one? Please? Since you're my wife, I'll tell you how to make the best brews. <laughs> The secret ingredient is love. Hey, corn! <sighs> Should we be letting him outside? What? You'll be fine. What's the worst that could happen? Morning, Nurgle. You're making coffee? You make me a cup, too. Morning, Slender. Because nine is part of the unfathomable and ever-changing structures of the architect of fate. 
There are nine distinct rights and acolytes must master before we can unlock the secrets that will permit it to pierce the veil, a process that will allow the worthy aspirant to draw upon the boundless energies of the immaterium. To remain unbroken, the summoning symbol must contain nine sequential rings, each perfectly executed in a ninefold process. Nine are the chants of the pirate cultists, and for casting, a couple of nine is by far the most powerful of groupings. Yet it is not the mortal rights alone that obey the great sorcerers and made rules. The number nine can be found woven throughout the unfathomable and ever changing structures of the architect of fate's own realm within the warp. The lords of change, the greatest servants of Zeech, and commanders of his convocations, are ordered within nine levels of trust. Because the red path has eightfold paths. Because seven is the number of good omens. For me, not for you. <laughs> because I like seven. Because nine is part of the unfathomable and ever changing structures of the architect of fate. There are nine distinct rites an acolyte must master before he can unlock the secrets that will permit him to pierce the veil, a process that will allow a worthy aspirant to draw upon the boundless energies of the immaterium. To remain unbroken, the summoning symbol must contain nine sequential rings, each perfectly executed in a ninefold process. Nine are the chants of the Kyrie cultists, and for casting, a coven of nine is by far the most powerful of groupings. Yet it is not the mortal rites alone that obey the great sorcerer's anadic rules. The number nine can be found woven throughout the unfathomable and ever-changing structures of the architect of fate's own realm within the warp. The lords of change, the greatest servants of Zinch, and the commanders of his convocations are ordered with in nine levels of trust. What that shit will gonna happen? <laughs> Welcome to the Chaos House! You can visit any time you like! But you can never live! Why would you want to? We have games! And plenty of soup for everyone! Not. We love Erebus! Yeah! What would we do without Erebus? Hmm. Yeah, but he killed Argol Tal, though. Got their reward for following orders. 